Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Nazmus Kandrakar and today let's talk about the Windows 10 freezing issues. The once and for all. Let's tackle this subject. I'm going to talk from the beginning to the end. So guys, if you like the video, make sure to put a thumbs up on, on YouTube and uh, subscribe to this channel for more updates uh, so to, to, be, to be notified whenever I uh, post new content. So you could watch them if you wish to. Uh, it really helps me out as well. So uh, like and subscribe. It really helps. So let's get started. Uh, the freezing issue, right? So uh, let's see. Uh, the freezing issue is an issue that has uh, plagued me for as long as I can remember using Windows 10 anniversary update, uh, starting with the very first previews of uh, the anniversary update. It used to be known as Windows 10 Redstone 1 back in the day. Uh, let's see. Uh, it was uh, I didn't use the very first preview. I think it was released. I think in late December or mid December, but I was out of the country. I actually went to Bangladesh uh, back in the day, uh, back then, and I couldn't install the first update. But I think I installed the second or third preview update, which was released in January. Um, so I installed Windows 10 Redstone 1, which is now known as Anniversary Update, and I noticed something strange on my laptop. It was, I was using a Dell Inspiron 1464 at that time. If I have videos on those, I have videos on that laptop. If you're interested, check on my channel on that. So yeah, uh, for uh, check my channel for those videos. But yeah, um, so I installed uh, Windows 10 Anniversary Update on the laptop, and what I noticed is uh, something strange, um, very strange actually. The computer would Windows 10 would like uh, freeze. Uh, randomly, I would start the computer up and start doing what I was doing. Um, open up Fire Explor Explorer, open up Premiere Pro, I don't know, uh, Visual Studio, and I would open up the computer and suddenly uh, my mouse would move, but nothing would respond. And I could click on menus or start menu or minimize. I try to open up a item, press play, I don't know. Uh, nothing would happen, and then I would be like that for a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, sometimes 30 seconds, sometimes almost a minute or if not more you know this is getting very annoying I thought like maybe my computer is never gonna recover I should I should press and hold the power button and restart but sometimes and, and then all of a sudden the computer would just unfreeze and all those clicks I did such as the start menu minimize uh, pressing a context menu button uh, toolbar button all those clicks would just register all at once immediately consecutively like one after the other, bang, bang, bang. So like uh, after the computer unfroze, the start menu would open up, the program would minimize, or a media would start playing, or like a uh, app would open because I clicked something on the taskbar. You know, all those things would happen, and it's like this happened. I don't know. I, I, and then uh, the computer unfroze, and then I could use the computer in my my merry way. Uh, I it'll ever it work perfectly. I mean, there was no problems. And I'd use the computer, and then, uh, I don't know, like a minute later or two minutes later, the entire thing would freeze again. <laughs> so, like, uh, uh, the thing, thing would repeat, and it was so bad in the beginning. I, I, had, I had to go back to 15.11. Then, I, in March, I believe, of this year, 2016, I bought a new computer, and I decided to put Windows 10 uh, Anniversary Update, a Redstone 1 preview on it. I thought... Hey, there's a new computer, fourth gen Intel, like Core i5, that's a NVIDIA GTX 745 GPU, a solid state. Actually, it had a um, hard drive that I, but I, pro I, I bought a SSD and I put in an extra SSD and used that as my boot drive. So an SSD, a hard drive. I said, you know, that's a new computer, more likely to not have issues. So I decided to update that to Windows 10. Um, anniversary update or Redstone 1 preview and voila there was no issues I said yes it, might, it must be that old computer you know I was, that was having the issue and at the same time another old computer running Windows 10 uh, I, d uh, I also updated another older computer from 2010 uh, that, that had a terrible Windows 10 a window, a ter terrible Intel Celeron CPU so I decided to update that computer and, and that computer also had a the freezing issues so I decided to roll back on that computer as well but my new computer desktop didn't have any issues I said okay that makes sense newer computer more or less likely to have compatibility issues with newer OS so everything was fine and dandy but uh, I think in a couple months later I realized that 120 gig SSD I bought for my new uh, desktop wasn't cutting it I, I needed more more space for the all the apps I used 
Adobe Photoshop, uh, uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects, uh, Visual Studio. It just was fi it was filling up my 120 gigabyte hard drive as fast as I don't know an airplane goes uh, the Concorde goes from Atlantic to across the Atlantic. I don't know. So uh, I I knew, uh, also look all the caching th these apps apps do, especially Premiere Pro. They cache a lot of media, and I had to get a bigger hard drive. So I realized that my old Dell laptop back in the day a couple uh, uh, less than a year ago uh, I, I had updated I had upgraded the laptop's hard drive to a solid state drive now I put a crucial 250 gigabytes uh, SSD on my Inspiron 1464 and I had put an Kingston 120 120 gigabyte SSD on the desktop so I said you know what I'll just open up the hard drive uh, laptop and I'll just open up the desktop and swap the hard drives right I'll put the crucial SSD uh, on my uh, Desktop and put the Kingston one uh, two fifty because my laptop's two fifty six crucial SSD would go on my desktop and my desktop's a small one twenty gigabyte one twenty gigabyte Kingston SSD would go to the laptop. Okay, so remember my laptop used to have the freezing issue. So after I after I swap the hard drives, I uh, reinstall the OS because uh, the yeah so I reinstall the OS on both um, the laptop and the desktop. Something very strange happened. My laptop was, which was experiencing the freezing issues, no longer had any freezing issues whatsoever. Um, but uh, my desktop um, started having the freezing issues, which made me realize that this is actually more about the crucial hard drive SSD rather than the computer so even though my new desktop was computer nothing changed processor hard drive graphics card, processor the secondary hard drive graphics card everything was the same um, but the computer would freeze and uh, I said oh go go god uh, that, that that's definitely an SSD issues so I decided to um, I reported the bug on Microsoft feedback Windows feedback nothing happened later in the year I it was June I think a couple months before the anniversary update comes out, this bug update has been bothering me to bar bothering me to pieces. Actually, I had to go back to 15.11 several times, but I was hoping that near June, two months before release, major bugs like this would be fixed, and it wasn't. And I made a video, I think my first freezing issue video, um, as it was a spontaneous video that I made. Uh, the computer was frozen. I got frustrated. I decided to make the video. And uh, I put that up on YouTube, and with frustration, I know I let Microsoft know via Twitter, Twitter, or feedback app. They didn't respond. Um, I think they have so much feedback they didn't, re they didn't even realize this problem. I don't know why. Especially terrible later on is because uh, they said no known issues, but I was having this really big known issue. But Microsoft said no known issues in this build, no known issues in that build. We're ready for RTM. So th I was frustrated, and by the time they released, I, I was pretty sure that they're going to ship this thing with the freezing issues unsolved and I was frustrated I couldn't get the message to them my next hope is that by the to uh, in that the, the, the my next hope is that when Windows 10 gets released to the public uh, more people will start reporting the freezing issues because I can't be the only one who has like freezing issues on two different computers uh, and depending on the particular hard drive that I'm using so it's, it's strange so after Windows 10 gets released, uh, anniversary update that is, then we hear a lot of lots and lots of complaints of the freezing issue. And what's interesting is that my video well had s a couple hundred views, of the my spontaneous freezing issues video had a couple hundred view views. But um, what happened is after Windows 10 anniversary update was released, I get started getting thousands of views on that video. So people were saying, oh no, I have the problem too. So what happened is that I think after Windows 10 anniversary update was released, a lot, a lot of people start experiencing the problem. They start looked at freezing issues, and they found my video because I guess it was one of the first videos talking about the freezing issues. Because I talked about it before it was 10 anniversary update was even released. So now Microsoft uh, learned more of the problem. Then they said, "Well, the problem occurs that uh, is sometimes when you have um, apps installed on uh, the OS installed on a primary solid state drive." And apps installed in hard or secondary hard drives, and I did have Steam apps, Steam games, and a couple of Windows Store apps installed on secondary hard drive on my desktop. But that's uh, and I had the freezing issue. But that wasn't the case on my laptop. My laptop only had one hard drive, so I didn't have any secondary hard drives on 
second games installed on secondary hard drives. Uh, but I was still explaining the experiencing the e freezing issues. So I, I thought maybe Microsoft misdiagnosed it, but I was still holding my breath, maybe hoping it would work. And Microsoft said, I'll try creating a second account and you shouldn't re experience the freezing issue. I said, okay. If Microsoft has diagnosed the problem correctly, that means if I do what they say, it shouldn't freeze because they that means if it doesn't freeze that means they have diagnosed the correct problem so I did that I did create a second account and thankfully there was no freezing issues in a second or any other account it was only on my main admin account so I, I had hoped that Microsoft did diagnose the problem correctly and finally finally a couple weeks ago Microsoft releases a cumulative update to Windows 10 anniversary update I think update cumulative update Windows bringing the Windows 10 version to 14393.154 I can't remember let's, let's check out let's go to Wikipedia actually uh, let me just go to Wikipedia and uh, and I think it's uh, I think it's build 154 oh no wonder I lost internet connection okay so I think it's build 154 uh, Wikipedia build uh, not Wikipedia build um, bill 154 uh, that fixes the issues but the problem is I was running redstone 2 uh, I'm just looking up Windows 10 version history here so the problem is uh, I was running Windows 10 redstone 2 so this fix wasn't in a Windows 10 redstone 2 build that I was using so I was really frustrated but thankfully the build that was released last week had the fixes of oh, sorry I uh, yeah, uh the preview build number is Windows 10 14393 uh build 187. Okay, I th I think I said 184. I don't know 187. So actual build is 1493.187. So I, uh, finally the Redstone 2 build that was released yesterday had the fix anniversary update fixed for uh fix uh fix integrate. So now the build that I updated last week and I had a video for video for it um Build that update to last week finally has no freezing issue problem. Thankfully, Alhamdulillah, thank God. Um, so yeah, and thank you to Microsoft for fixing it. No, I no longer have the freezing issue problem. I'm so happy after months of suffering and uh, worrying that I'll never have to. Uh, Microsoft might not diagnose this correctly, and I have to suffer through this. They have fixed the freezing issue. So the freezing issue is fixed right now, and I uh, I'm very grateful. So thank you guys. Uh, let me know if you are. You, did you guys experience the freezing issue? And did, did updating to build fourteen nine fourteen uh, three nine three dot one eight seven for restaurant one or fourteen nine two six for restaurant two? Did updating th to those build solve your problems? If it did, please let me know. It really uh, helps me out because uh, I don't know what you guys are thinking. And let me know if it works. Uh, if it doesn't, let me know that too. Uh, then my, then you might be experiencing a different issue. Uh, then that's completely different from the freezing issue, and we need to diff we need to diagnose that differently. But yeah, the freezing issue should be solved, and I'm very grateful to God and to Microsoft um, for doing this. So thank you, thank you uh, to all of them, and thank you guys for watching. So if you have more more, if you, if, you, if you like this video, make sure you like it, and for more content, subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. I think you might, you might, you, I think you'll like those, inshallah. So thank you. Have a good one, guys. Goodbye.